Hi, in this video I'll tell you about the difference between formal and informal English. Imagine somebody comes up to you and says, good morning, nice to meet you. Or the person says, hey, what's up? Basically, they're saying the same thing. They acknowledge you're there, they greet you, they want to be friendly probably. But there is a slight difference and this is a difference in what we call register. So the level of formality of language. Imagine this as a scale going from on the one hand formal to on the other side informal. You could use other words to describe different steps in that scale. You could say language is neutral or colloquial. That means the kind of language you use with friends or family or even slang. And now this is very specific to your social group, for example. Often in spoken language, we are less formal and in written language, we are often more so. Now, the question really is, is the kind of level of English, the register, is it appropriate for the social situation that you are in? That is the precise question you need to pick the right register. Let's say you're saying goodbye to a friend. Is it better here to say bye, catch you later? Or it was a pleasure speaking to you, see you next month. I would say here, bye, catch you later is better because this is your friend, you know them well, so you might as well use this kind of more informal phrase there. Or you're sending an email to a professor that you haven't met yet, would you rather write, hi, I just wanted to let you know, I'm up for the chat tomorrow, or good morning, I would like to confirm our appointment for tomorrow. Here I would say B is better because it's more formal and this situation requires more formality. After all, this is your professor, you haven't met them before, you don't know what to expect. It's better to be on the safe side in terms of formality. Now, the question really is, is your language appropriate and you have to adapt what do you have to adapt? And this is really where it becomes more difficult. I'll show you four areas that you have to focus on to adapt your register. First, look at your choice of words, your use of short forms, your level of politeness in your language and the sentence structure and how complex it is. I will go into detail on these four points right now. Let's start with choice of words. Often in informal language. We use simple words. We have a limited range of words that we use. And in the formal, more formal level, people often use more complicated or technical terms. And in English, often the more formal the word is, the more likely it is to come from a Latin root. So this applies to words like extraordinary or various. So here in this sentence, where maybe in uh, informal language you use words like lot and stuff, which are not derived from Latin, of course. You can look for alternatives to words. So for example, the word ask is quite neutral and a simple word, but inquire sounds much more sophisticated, uh, more difficult. Um, and the same goes for the difference between right now and currently. So make sure you pick the right word for the right situation. Use of short forms, obviously, you use fewer abbreviations in formal language. So where in informal language you cut things short and when you're writing use the um, apostrophe to make it short, great if you'd write back soon or I'm sure or I want to come ASAP. So you use the short form or uni, you shorten the word. In formal language you usually stick with the long form unless you explain, for example, an abbreviation and then use it later on in an academic essay or something. But generally, you do not use as many short forms as you would in informal language. Politeness. Obviously, you want to be more polite in a more formal situation. So when it's your friend, you could just walk over to them and say, could you take a pic? And they wouldn't be offended, obviously. But if it's a stranger, person you don't know well, you might want to ask, would you be so kind uh, as to take a photo of us? Or you're saying goodbye to a friend after a party, saying great party, see ya. This is fine. Wouldn't do this if you, you shouldn't do this if you're at say an art gallery and you're saying goodbye to the owner, then it might be nicer to say what a delightful evening. It has been such a pleasure to finally meet you, a whole different level. Let's look finally at sentence structure. Now, when we speak, you will notice that people often don't even use complete sentence. They're often not even gr correct grammatically. 
um, and they're often very simple and short. So here I've made this example. So I got your email, not really sure about the text, maybe change something. Uh, so this is very informal, incomplete, ungrammatical. I would say that if you want to be more formal, always make sure your sentences are grammatical, they're complete and maybe even make them a bit more complex with subclauses. So here I made the example of having received your email and considered the problems portrayed, may I propose some changes to the document? Completely different level in terms of formality. I hope I was able to help you a little bit in terms of formal or informal English. Try to incorporate this into when you are speaking or when you're writing, especially of course when it's important and you have to aim for a higher level of formality, which often is perceived as the more difficult thing. Good luck with that and see you soon. English with Mr. B.